This is everything you need to know about the Anthropic interview process for software engineers. Anthropic is like the open AI sibling, which is more concerned with ethics. Their uh, cultural fit round is incredibly honing in on your ethics, the times you've gone against them in the past, the beliefs you have against their beliefs. We'll get into more of it later, but it's really interesting. Their recruiters are also very interesting. The best negotiation tactic I've heard in a, at least a year came from an Anthropic recruiter, which we'll get to later. These interview processes are group dependent. So not like Google uh, interview with randos, not like Amazon, where everyone you interview with except the bar raiser is going to be on the team you'd be on if you got the job. Instead, like in the group, all of your interviewers are in the group. So if you're, if you're interviewing for like the inference group, you'll interview with only inference people, but they won't necessarily be the exact team if you actually get the job. So pretty interesting. Anthropic has a lot of interesting questions that they're asking. Most of the questions are going to be novel. Their question banks, which we can link below to in the description, are pretty well known. Uh, also, they are actively changing their question bank, so these can be updated uh, anytime. In terms of their overall process, so we can go through each round kind of one by one after laying out a high level overview of how it works. So first of all, you got the recruiter screen, right? Secondarily, you got the tech screen, coding round. Third of all, you got the, the final round. The interesting thing here about the final round is that it's usually four or five rounds. And this is for like senior staff level positions. They seem to interview senior and staff people basically the same or at least very similarly. But you're gonna assume that you're gonna get a hiring manager or engineering manager round, again, not hiring for your exact team, but hiring in that group, a coding round, system design round, culture fit round, and a technical presentation round. The, the strange thing that they do sometimes, not all the time, is sometimes they'll break up this final round into two separate loops. And if you fail the first one, then you just won't do the rest of the loop. Uh, they might be on two days. Otherwise, they might just do all of it in one loop on one day. Let's go each, let's go through each of these rounds one by one. So first of all, Wow, Anthropic pays a lot, right? We all know that, but maybe what we didn't know is how sneaky the recruiters are. So I have heard a very interesting negotiation tactic. So if you're the candidate and I'm the recruiter, this is what I would say. This is the first call, the recruiter screening. Okay, cool. So um, there are two different levels that you can interview for basically. So tell me which loop do you want? Uh, one of them has a breakdown for total compensation of 525, and the other one has a breakdown of total compensation for 750. Which one do you want to interview for? You say 750, obviously, and now one of the most profitable companies in the world that can pay you the most money, including, you know, seven to nine figures, has you locked in on a number. Even if 750 is three times more than what you're making now, it's still a very tricky tactic to get you to agree to a number before you've shown them your value, which is at the onsite. So, do not answer that question. Never say a number first. Thank you. A recruiter screen. Interestingly enough, sometimes what Anthropic does is they'll have a recruiter screen you. And then once you get over the bar, then they hand you off to another recruiter to actually have you work through the rest of the process with. Essentially, this person just makes sure you're good enough. This person is your actually guider along the way to give you the interview prep advice and all that stuff. Uh, here's a few likely questions you can get in the phone screen. Build a web crawler with multi-threading and then strip out all the details except URLs into a dictionary and then print that dictionary. This is a cool question because it's practical, right? Like all the time Anthropic is, 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 is crawling through websites to, to feed their LLMs, right? So they're not asking you a problem that has no practical application to their day to day. It has some practical application. Another type of question you can get in one of these coding rounds, at least pre on site one, you know, write a function to convert stack samples to a trace. So, so now at the final round, start with the system design round. So this round again, pretty practical where you could have a question like this. A lot of people are asking the bot different things. Let's say you have a single line queries coming in. I want you to design an end to end system where you can batch all those queries and where our because our GPU can only take 100 queries per batch and you can do one query per batch or 100 queries per batch. But I want you to optimize the GPU to do whatever you want within that constraint. How will you do it? Why is this cool? Because it's a novel problem, because nobody knows the answers to it, because all these hot AI companies are trying to figure this out right now, including your interviewer. So be aware of this is not a question where it's not Facebook asking you how to move a metric for a product they're working on where they know the answer to. They don't know the answer and they want to hear you work off of your assumptions for this novel problem and say something smart with them, right? So yeah, they can expect like some probes, like another kind of theme that's popular in, uh, these interviews in Anthropic is they know the gates they want you to get to. And the way they usually ask it is like, how will you find which GPU to send? It's again, 
connecting it just straight up as if you're working here now, what would you do? How do you figure out who has capacity or will have capacity to send the GPU to? Again, super practical, like they're trying to figure this out right now. They don't know the answers. Tell them the answers. Cool. So another, another example of a system design question, again, if this was for like an inferencing group that you're interviewing for, the question could be like, you have some GPU clusters, you want to do some batch inferencing, design a batch inferencing API and minimize inferencing time. The interesting thing about this is they might make the model a black box. So you don't focus on the model at all and instead focus on the rest of the architecture. Again, really practical if you're interviewing for the inferencing team to get this problem. But the coding rounds of the onsite are going to have questions like, Another stack trace question, like you have different samples and based on the samples, implement a function that can find the slowest part in the code. They might run you through a bunch of test cases, but it's even better if you're the one thinking through those test cases and coming up with them and then running yourself through those test cases and telling them that you're doing it. Another coding problem that you might see in the final round is something like, you know, uh, write a function that will actually read files and then find duplicate files and then write a test to make files to run it through that. Curiously, these don't have to be very leap code style questions where it's just like, you know, you have a question, you have a function, it does something, and then that's independent of the environment. In this case at Anthropic, it's a little bit more real world, a little bit more practical, where you actually have to like access files and like make files like in this round and run those files through your system. So it's pretty interesting. The hiring manager round is interesting. We noticed that sometimes they call it the goals and experiences round, sometimes just a hiring manager round. But either way, they're going to ask you about getting buy-in, they're going to ask you about your goals. Goals meaning like the teams that you worked on where they were a fit. The teams where you worked on where they were not a fit. They're trying to find your sweet spot. And then for the experiences, it's a lot of questions about, again, getting buy-in, dealing with conflicts. And the next round, the culture fit. This is the kicker. This is the real kicker. So let's just walk through some of these amazingly interesting questions that we can see in this kind of a round, right? Like just to get a little bit of a flavor here. When have you done something against your values, right? They're going to preface you. The recruiter is going to tell you, hey, we might ask you questions that are going to make you uncomfortable. This question is going to make you feel uncomfortable. And so are many of the other ones in the culture fit round. At least it's possible. These are questions digging into your beliefs and how they conflict with what this company believes. It's a lot of stuff in play here. So it could be very tricky. Hey, read through our, our blog and our mission. They'll tell you before this round. And then, hey, what did you think about it? What do you think we're right on? What do you think we're wrong on? How have you had people push back on your values in the past? How do you decide between doing things based on your values or doing things for profitability? Do you believe in the mission? Why? What parts are you not on board with? Why Anthropic? Why do you think we're right? So like really, really, really interesting questions that you're not going to find anywhere else. I've seen senior staff engineers report to me that they've never had a round like this before. It felt like an interrogation. And I don't know if it's going to feel like an interrogation because the rounds overall tend to be conversational, but it is going to feel like it's pushing your buttons, at least for some people. Again, if Anthropic is the ethical, is the more ethically concerned open AI, your ethics need to be on point. You need to have your ethics set in stone, your stories about ethics set in stone, your answers that clearly can both touch on the positive points about their ethics, but also the negative points and having real legitimate concerns is a big part of that. They're going to do a technical project deep dive is the final round in the final round. This is going to be the one where you might present to one person or two people, but they're usually engineers or engineering managers. And it's going to be a pretty simple prompt. It's going to be like for any project that you've shipped from end to end, uh, you know, present it to us. They suggest using a notion or something similar. So Whatever you use, you're going to want to be ready for them to ask the obvious hard questions, like whatever your project is, if they think it's good and it's not global, they might ask you, how would you take it globally, right? How would you shard it? How would you make it sustainable and reliable, right? So these are all kind of like system design optimization questions on this reverse system design interview where you're describing a system that you've built in the past. So super interesting company, obviously, top level compensation, extremely well thought out culture, uh, maybe the top 10% of companies that are intentional about their culture uh, that I can think of in the world. Yeah, really competitive process, really disorganized recruiters are going to cancel on you four times, you just got to get used to it, you got to follow up. Uh, you know, a lot of these hot AI companies are dealing with unmanageable scale right now. So you just got to be ready for that. And uh, yeah, uh, overall advice here is, is, is work on practical problems, go through the question bank that we have for uh, Anthropic and uh, good luck, break a leg.